Good evening and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is June 9th, 2018. My name is Lynn Marquardt and I'm your host. I am welcoming you to the sewing, sewing studio. Sewing studio, that's funny. Sewing studio, grab a project and we're going to work on something together, I hope, for a few minutes. As you can hear, I have a cold, but that happens. And so we're going to try and work through it and catch up. So make sure early, because I may end early, send pictures or letters with what you're working on to Lynn at simplycolorful.com. You can also text me at 508-341-5631. And I would love to share what you're working on with everyone else. Tonight, you may have seen I've just what we're going to do is talk about the basket quilt behind me and what fabrics we want to put in between as sashing. I just put out a poll with pink or green as suggestions. So I'll be very interested to hear what you think. And of course, I also thought of a third option, which was no sashing or the very light. So I guess that's a fourth option would be a very light another sashing. But let me know what you think, whether you like the green or the pink. I did finish all 12 of them, so they're ready to go. And actually the layout that you see behind me is not how I'm going to lay it out. I'm actually going to do three across and then four down. So, and then I'm going to put borders. So it's more like a twin size quilt or a big lap quilt. I wanna make sure it covers someone from head to toe that's using it. Um, <clears throat> I also thought we would open a couple of boxes here. They came while I was gone. I came home last night. And then we'll get back into our scrappy quilt making a little bit and probably call it a night. So grab your project. It's amazing what we can accomplish, if not in 60 minutes, in 30 minutes, however long you can do it. Do it when you feel like it. And um, sometimes even when you don't, right? <laughs> so these two boxes are what I received in the mail. This came from Habdash by Philtech. And I know what it is because I ordered it. Ooh, be careful. I want to say hi to everyone out there. Hi to Carol and Deb and yay! So they had this back ordered. It's regular white glide thread. I use a lot of that. I use a lot of gray, but I wanted to have white on hand too. And then pre-wound black bobbins because I also have a quilt that I needed black on. And I'm loving these pre-wound bobbins. So that's a fun little gift. Ready for your quilts. Again, if you have a quilt that you need to have quilted, send it to me to Simply Colorful Machine Quilting. Go to the website. There's information all about it and um, I'd love to do your quilts. And I'm back home for three weeks until the 4th of July, so I have time. So this also came in the mail from June. So if June is out there, or if Deb, if you're out there, please text June and let her know that her package arrived from New Hampshire. And lo and behold, it was so fun. I'm recreating the unpacking because I couldn't leave this not undone. So look at these fun quilts. These are backings. Here is one. That is, oh, look at how fun that is. Oh, I love it with the primary colors, blue, red, and a little yellow. That is wonderful. So we'll have to play with maybe, let's see, there are animals, there are tools. I was gonna say we could find some fish. We'll find some, some fun pattern to do it. Because as you know, I use that Statler Gamel and the sky's the limit. It comes with a thousand patterns and then there are all sorts of designers out there that are making more patterns. And that'll be the back, ooh. So we have some cool circles that if they don't compete with that might work great with this. So there's one June, I'm excited about that. And then this one, I love this one too. 
This is a camping theme. Can you see that? Isn't that fun? I love this one. It has bug jars. It has fishing lures. It has the the uh, the woody station wagons. Remember with the wood on the side and the campers. So that is going to be great. And check this out. Now I love this backing for this quilt. I love this. So we'll have to find a camping theme or something fun for that. And again, the way it works is I send June an email tomorrow with some design options and some colored thread that I put over these and I take pictures of it and I send it back to her with a recommendation and we work together to pick out what she would like to have her quilts quilted with and as. <clears throat> so thank you, June. That's wonderful. Um, what other updates? I think that's about it last. Let me pull this back over. So again, the biggest update, I guess, in the last week, I've been working, of course. Um, I finished the baskets. I've been down with my mom. So mom, if you're out there, hello. You are a trooper and a half. Um, and now I'm back home and I have un unpacked things. If you saw the other side of this camera, you would see that the studio is a disaster. <laughs> In fact, I should take a picture and I'll post it so you can see it. Uh oh, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> I can't laugh, otherwise I'll start coughing. Um, okay. So I'm going to, what we're making, it's really a leader ender until I figure out what to do next. Just our four patches. Remember these? Meanwhile, go to the Simply Colorful Facebook page and vote on whether you want green or pink because the poll ends at 1030 tonight, so just a couple of hours. And then tomorrow or not tomorrow, because if I feel well enough, I'm going over to the Textiles Arch Retreat. Um, but next week I will get that done. So I started to cut out these strips, two and a half inch wide. Oh, I've got to put my iron back on. Remember this Panasonic iron? There's a link for it on the Simply Colorful website. So help yourself, click through and come to the party. I'm late to the party, but man, am I loving this cordless iron. In fact, I have a couple of squares that I need to iron here. And I'm gonna spin the seams. Um, so I know if, if you're new, welcome. I love to see our new folks joining. I really, really do. And for seasoned visitors, thanks for coming. Thanks for being there. Thanks for sharing the love of fiber arts with me. We are in our fifth year, if you can believe that. And we've evolved, or you've evolved, and it's a wonderful thing. The future looks bright. So I'm spinning my seams or I'm undoing a couple of stitches. <coughs> and I'll show you why. It's so that I can minimize the, the fabric at that intersection. So there is a spun seam. And there's a thread. I don't know where that came from. Okay, so add that to the pile. This one's ready to go. Joyce, I am loving my ironing board, too. I missed it when I was <coughs> on the island. Okay. So there's another spun seam. You can tell it's spun well if you see the four patch, the little mini four patch on the back right there. I'm also trying to, 
to iron toward the dark fabric. So let's see. Yep, this one's going to work too. No, no cord. KB, if you're out there, thank you for this. And there we go. And there we go. And then this one, no, I have to cut it first. Mm. Okay, and then pull it apart like that. Hey, who's there? Oh, it is Carol. Hi, Carol. I'm psyched. My first caller. Tell us what you're up to. Let me iron this and then I will read your note. I suppose we could do it like a radio show. We could have people call in, couldn't we? Mm, that's a little bit off, but it's good. I, I did the seam. So Carol, my sister-in-law says, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> hi Lynn and fellow fiber casters. Excuse me. Carol says, my vote is for the neutral sashing. Just watching tonight as earlier today, I was working on the binding of one of my quilts. The long arm division sewed the other day. <laughs> I love that. Happy sewing all, Carol O. I love that a lot. Oh, and thank you for that vote. It turned out when I set up the poll on Facebook, I did it right from this phone, and it only let, allowed me to give two choices. Otherwise, I would have put the third neutral sashing. So I'll keep tally of that, too. Thanks, Carol. And I was so sorry to hear about Ike. So just know that we're thinking of you, Ike. The Airedale Terrier was a beautiful dog. So sweet. And he sure got a lot of love in his life over there in Natick, so. Uh. So I'm just ironing my strips. See, these are gonna be neutral strips even though they have coffee cups on them. I think those will be cool. Or neutral squares. Oh, this one I'm not even going to iron. Okay. This is as simple as quilting gets these days, and it's as enjoyable as complicated quilting for me. I've got a nice, clean, new blade. So it cuts well. I've got nice light. It's quiet, although I can somewhat hear the band downstairs. <coughs> now, if it felt better, it'd be a home run. Ooh, who's that? Okay. Carol says not to be difficult. You're never difficult. But I don't see where you posted the poll. Please advise. Okay. On the Simply Colorful Facebook page, it should show up there. I posted it under as Simply Colorful, not as Lynn. <coughs> so go to facebook.com slash and then Simply Colorful, all one word, and it should take you there. Thanks for asking, because if you had the question, many others did too, so thanks. Let's see. Should I get I should get the iPad so I can show your pictures. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, I also wanted to show everyone. Do you all get the Pearl Soho newsletter from New York City? Pearl Soho, S-O-H-O. 
They just do some stunning, modern, very chic, very well-designed patterns and supplies. And you pay for it. So this caught my eye today. It was literally color block hand towels. See those at the top? They're made, they're knitted out of linen. That's all they are, just straight knitting. And they sell this linen that is called Lantern Yard, <coughs> which probably, look at all these colors they have. It's called Lantern Linen Yarn. And I'm sure the more you wash this hand towel, the softer and nicer it will feel because linen is such a strong fiber, right? So it's lovely. So I went and looked, and the pattern's free, by the way. What a bargain, right? So I thought, well, that might be kind of fun. I could make my mother an orange and off-white towel for her kitchen because her kitchen has some orange, sort of orange weave burlapy type um, wallpaper. It's perfect against some dark cabinets. I thought maybe I could do that. What the heck? It's not that big. Although I should tell you the dimensions. Mm. Uh. Okay, it ends up being 18 inches wide by 31 inches long. So kind of like a fat quarter. What's a fat quarter? 18 by 22. This is 18 by 31. So it's even bigger than a fat quarter. It takes four of those skeins and each skein costs $19. So we're talking almost $80 for a dish towel. Needless to say, we're not making it, but, or I'm not making it, go for it anyone out there it's a really fun site to check out if you haven't so it's pearl soho <coughs> and they have a nice excuse me um email that they send see there's the dish towel all laid out <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all right let me check to see who's out there Yay! Oh, Carol! Oh, Carol's getting a new machine. She says she's feeling excited about it. Carol, I'm so excited for you. Tell us about it. Carol, from over in the UK, excuse me, says, Hi, Lynn and all fiber casters. I hope everyone has had a good week. We had our second sew along this week, and everyone enjoyed it, and I want it to be a regular thing. It was such fun. <clears throat> excuse me. Carol says, I am super excited as I have ordered a quilting frame so I can use a dom <coughs> domestic machine like long arm. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. I'm going to get through this email and then we're going to call it. <coughs> oh, let me take a sip of water. <sighs> okay. Carol says, can you imagine if that happened to broadcasters? What do they do? <coughs> Awful. Carol says, I'm super excited. I hope I'm not ruining the excitement. She's ordered a quilting frame to use with her domestic machine like a long arm without the huge cost. <coughs> Excuse me. Carol says, tomorrow I'm going to look at the Juki Mini and might even buy it if I like it. I think what I'm going to like about having a frame is that I will not have to crawl over the floor and pin based. LOL. I can see lots of practice coming up. What thread do you recommend? Everyone enjoy your weekend, Carol. Well, ironically, Carol, there are a lot of good threads out there. Superior has a nice line of So Fine and Omni. Start with one. Omni is a good one to start with. Um, it's polyester wrapped. It's cotton wrapped in polyester, I think, or, or vice versa. But it's a nice one. I've taken to using Glide, which is a tri-lobal polyester. It's very strong. It doesn't have lint. So go to Habdash by Filtech and check that out. And I will share everything I know, which is not much because I've only been doing it for a year, but I'm so happy for you. And I apologize for that coughing fit. That was crazy. 
Let's make sure I say hi to everyone. Carol Bell is out there. Annie is out there from in Sioux Falls. Hi, Annie. I am so glad that you're out there. I can keep going. If I start coughing, I'm literally going to turn off because you don't need to see that. But I have to show you this. So Annie in Sioux Falls says, hi, Lynn and everybody. Sorry you're not feeling too good. It's so good. Thank you. <coughs> All right. I'm going to show you her pictures. Look at that. Oh, those are great. Annie says, tonight I'm working on putting together the hexagons I was basting last week. Also in the past week, she finished the pinwheel quilt on Ernestine, her 1908 new automatic treadle. Isn't she sweet? We have made a lot of quilts together, she says. Hope you get to feeling better soon. I like neutral sashing too. Oh, thank you, Annie. This is her treadle. She's very sweet. Wow. Thank you. Have a great week and keep on being productive. I'm impressed. And Carol Bell in Yorkshire, she says, hope you all have had a good week. I've not done much sewing this week, but I have managed to get the first of the quilts I layered last week quilted. Amazing. Remember the pile you had? It's only stitch in the ditch, but it's done. And now all I have to do is the binding and the other few quilts I got layered. <coughs> oh, excuse me. There's one. Oh, isn't that neat? I like the backing. Oh, everyone. So, so far, because I haven't seen the other poll, neutral sashing is winning for behind here. If you have a strong opinion on the green or the pink, let us know in the poll. I know this cold is short-lived, so I fully expect to be right back here next Friday night, and we'll try this again. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'll be at a short show, and I'll see you next week.